Hey everyone, Cindy Williams here from Careers on Vacation. I have my amazing client here, Becky from Practically Perfect Adventures. How are you today, Becky? I am fantastic, how are you? I'm so good, you just got back from a cruise, did I see that right? Yes, oh my gosh, it was amazing. I highly suggest it to everybody, it was fantastic. I'm still, I'm still getting my land legs back, but Otherwise, <laughs> that happens, right? Fantastic. And you left your family at home. You just took a girlfriend, is that right? <laughs> yes, I did. I feel like we were the hit of the adult pool area. Like everyone was like, "You left your husband and kids at home. It's just the two of you." We were like, "Yeah, that's how we vacation." So. The life of a travel agent, right? Exactly. Exactly. It was great. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, thank you for spending time with us today. Of course. Um, I just love your journey from start to finish going through the careers on vacation program. So we just wanted to share it with our community. Tell me a little bit about where your business was before careers on vacation and where you are now. So before I thought things were going well, going along well, you know, I had been with another travel agency for a couple of years and my husband and I just felt like this was something we could do on our own. And so we started our own agency this past January and it was going on well, but I was starting to feel like a little crazed, a little like, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go next. I don't know what's going, like all the things that you have to do. And then I came across your program. And ever since then, it's like, I now, we now have clear focus. The business is flourishing. We're, we're doing great. And it's just, it's been amazing. <laughs> yeah, and it's hard to go from sometimes when you want to make that jump and I, oh, I can, you know, I want to keep all this commission, but then when you take uh -huh. that from travel agent to owner, that can be overwhelming and you kind yes. of get in and it's like, how do I, like you said, where do I go next? What do I do? And so good. That's awesome. What do you think your biggest win has been going through the careers on vacation program? Well, I, you know, I was trying to think about that and there's been two real big things. I think first of all, just the community that we now have amongst the people going through careers on vacation, the people that have graduated from it. Like, I just love the, the little team we've built, I feel like, and the support that we have. Like, that's one of my best things. But as far as the business end goes, my biggest thing has just been how you taught me with setting up Google and making sure I come up top on Google and I've gotten several bookings and now my largest booking yet. I have a huge family reunion, land and sea cruise trip that we're doing that I'm just like, Oh my gosh, like that, that was a clear, like that is definitely careers on vacation. Cause otherwise I wouldn't have had that. I wouldn't have had that Google page or anything. So yes. and that SEO, your search engine optimization, your presence, it's, mm -hmm. it's like a baffling formula and it changes all the time. I love it because I'm like a marketing nerd. So I'm all like, here's what you need to know. Here's what. But having that process, and I always tell people like, we don't sell you a fish dinner. Like we're teaching you how to fish. So once you know how to do this process, there's nothing more rewarding. Those leads start coming in. You're like, I'm not paying for all these leads to come in. This is just going to happen on a regular basis. And now you're having ideal, not just any leads, but your ideal leads yes. because you're getting those vacations that you're hoping for. So that's amazing. One of the other things we do in our program, as you know, is the mindset work. I'm yes. really big on preparing you to be that owner and preparing you to think like an entrepreneur and to think numbers related and how to dissect your business so you can really get every little piece of profit out as possible. But that really starts with the mindset. So what did you think about that part of the program? Well, at first, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, what is this? Like, I have to say these things to myself every morning. Like, <laughs> this sounds kind of cheesy, but I was like, I'm going to do it anyway. And I have to say, like, at first, when I was first doing it, I was like, again, I was, didn't seem right. But then, then it just started sinking in. And, you know, I had to ask my husband, like, I was like, what have you seen? Have you seen any changes? And he's like, your confidence, just like your go get him attitude. He's like, I've never seen you work so hard on something before. And you're just positive all the time. And you're like, we can do this. We've got this. And he even joked this morning. He's like, for example, you know, had someone asked me at the beginning of this year, would you, we ever see Becky doing live videos on Facebook or doing anything like that? He's, he said, I would have laughed 
them out of the room. Like, there is no way my wife is getting on camera. She hates being in front of the camera. Nothing. And now here I am doing all these live videos and I still need to do some more, but like I'm just getting out there and I have the confidence to do it and the focus to do it now. And so, yeah, in, great. in the program, you know, we have our video challenge to really train you on not just how to do it or getting over that, but like specifically, how do you dissect this process to make an offer and, and, and convert it into customers. But I love that piece. I haven't had that answer before. So I like that. It's just the mindset piece, thinking like an entrepreneur is like nothing else. And like you, you mentioned community earlier and it kind of all ties in together because when you're operating so low or it's like you and your husband at the beginning of the year, right? You're like, Oh, what do we do? What's the roadmap? How do you, how do we, you know, whatever you want to accomplish, but getting clear on that vision, knowing the exact steps, knowing what already is tested and works. And then you put the mindset piece around it where like, if I do this, I can expect this result. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And how can that not help your confidence, right? When I know. Leads coming <laughs> in, you're like, yes, I love it. I love it. When you were in kind of the, you know, fact finding stage, was it hard for you to jump all in? Like what, how did you find me? And like, what was that process like talking through if you thought it was going to be a fit for you? So it, it was kind of weird. So I think we talked about this on our first call, how I just had that one of your clients use the spaghetti brain, like everything was a big jumble. And so, you know, I started searching for things. And then of course, first I saw your advertising post for the gold digger retreat. And I was like, oh, I want to go to Disney World. And I want, so I was really interested in that at first. But then after our initial call with you, I started thinking, I'm like, maybe it's the careers on vacation part that I need more. Like, I really think I need that more. And I was still kind of like, well, will it work for me? And, you know, through course of events, I found you know, another graduate, we are on the same Facebook group and I reached out to her and she was like, oh my gosh, no, you have to do the program. It's amazing. It's legit. It's not, you know, a joke. Um, and then I was worried that my husband was going to, my husband slash business manager was going to, you know, balk at the cost a little bit, but he was all for it. He was like, no, if this is going to help us grow, it's going to be worth it. The investment. Um, and he was like, yes, just go ahead and do it. And so, we went from there. Yeah. And it's, and it's good. You have to go through that process because sometimes it's like you sit on the fence a little bit and you do those pieces. But I love when the husbands are like, yeah, you know, because usually it's a vacation we're asking for, right? Like, yeah. hey, you mind if I fly off to Tahiti and they're like, oh, leave me with the kids. But when you're like, I'm going to make an investment in the business and here's what it'll equal, like it's ROI, right? Return on investment. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense to do these pieces and talking to other graduates, having success? We've had great success this year and all the years before in our program. And it's just amazing to see how you guys are putting everything into action. What would you say to that person that's kind of sitting on the fence? Like there, you know, the ones you, you might've been you, you're sitting back in the shadows, watching videos and you're like, Oh, they know they need to grow their business. They know they're at a plateau. They know they need something to kind of move them forward. What would you say to that person? I would say they just need to hop off that fence and, and, and do it. Like they could go the route that I did, like speak with previous graduates and find out what they really thought and, and got out of the program. And you just really, you need to invest in yourself. Like, like as, you know, as a woman, as a business owner, you know, we just don't take the time to invest in ourselves and to better ourselves. And they just need to go ahead and do it and just hop on in. <laughs> and I love it. And that's why I was so funny because earlier today, I'm like, I'm coaching all day. Like I have packed, packed calls. You're my only call that's not coaching today. But I love it. Like that's what my purpose in life is. It's to motivate and inspire people to lean into their bliss and take it right into abundance. Because a lot of people in the travel industry, they love travel. They're either doing it as a hobby or maybe they're doing it as a business, but they're just kind of been right here for a couple of years. And it's kind of like, what's it going to take to get that next push through? So I love that. Jump off the fence. Commit. Do you want a hobby? Do you want a business? Let's do this thing. I'm ready, right? So yeah, and it's been so amazing to work with you because, I mean, look, you have to do work in the program. I'm not going to do the push-ups for you. I'm going to 
I have a lot of exercise analogies right now because I just hired a trainer. Can I just talk about that for a second? <laughs> so, but it's so like when you talk about coaches, right? Like I got you on travel and helping you in marketing and business and all that good stuff. But I show up at my coach's gym twice a week and she kicks my butt and makes me do things I don't want to do. She doesn't do the work for me, but she shows me what I need to do to get the results that I want. Of course, I'm having results because I'm doing what she's telling me to do. Exactly. Cruise on vacation is the same thing. It's one of those where it's every business, and I've worked for, you know, huge corporations. I've owned my own hugely successful small businesses. So I know what it feels like to get to that place where you're like, I'm stuck. Like, what's the next thing I need to move forward? And as solopreneurs, when we sit at home, we go, I got to figure this out myself, but you're not alone, you know, and, and reach out. There's, there's the, the power is in recognizing as a business owner, when you wear the business owner hat that you have to reach out and say, I need a little bit of help here to get to what my vision is, to get to what my goal is. That's a powerful thing when you make that decision, investment, action, because then it moves you forward on a trajectory that just takes you to sky's the limit. I mean, what are you, what's your plans for next year? Share that with everybody. Oh my gosh. We are just getting all of our ducks in a row to start hiring and expanding the agency. Um, we're looking forward to doing that next year. Um, and just setting a whole lot of different programs in place. We've got big family cruises planned for a bunch of different families and goodness, we're just setting that like sky's the limit. We're just going for it all. I doesn't think that, doesn't that feel like a beautiful thing when you don't put a cap on your dream. You're like yeah. I went further than I thought I was going to go this year. Imagine what we can do next year. And recruiting was a big thing that you and I, we worked on that together. Right. So yeah. sharing with you, here's how you onboard. Here's how you, well, first here's how you recruit, put that, you know, yeah piece together. Here's how you do the correct kind of recruiting. Here's how you do compensation. Here's how you do uh, the onboarding process. That's super overwhelming if you've never done it before. Um, but I'm so excited to see where your company is going. I love watching you on your videos and your travels. Your branding is amazing. We're going to loop that in here so everyone can kind of take a peek at that. Um, and listen, I, this isn't goodbye because now you go into the graduate group. And you know what? You're already registered for next year's retreat. Oh, I'm so, so excited. You, you're already coming to next year's retreat. Yep. That's how much my clients love me. Can I just, I don't, I try to stay humble, but seriously, we have such a high sign up rate for people that go through the program and then they're like, I'm going to the retreat. Like, show me what, what's new next year, which is not till 2020, but that, uh, you know, that's going to be so fun. So we're going to see you there at the Bay Lake. And I think you made it into one of those VIP spots. So yay. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. That's going to be a blast. I know you were sending messages when we were at the other one. You're like, oh, I know because I know how bad you wanted to go this year. Wow. But that's okay. We're going to have just as much fun mm -hmm. next time as well. So thank you for sharing your story, Becky. I really appreciate it. It's been such a pleasure to work with you and your husband, your whole team. And uh, I wish you so much love and abundance. It's not goodbye. It's just I'll see you over in the grad group where I'm going to continue to support you. I'm so proud of all of your progress. Awesome. Thank you so much. I couldn't have... Couldn't have gotten through this year without you guys and without your help. So it's been amazing. Awesome. You're the best. Thanks, Becky. We'll talk soon. All right. Thank you.